All right, we're back with some more Mexican recipes, and this is my friend Carmen Hall. Carmen, Hello. thank you so much for coming. Thank you for inviting me. Oh, I, absolutely. Are you kidding? When we, I knew we were doing a fiesta, you were the first person um, I knew I was going to call. Uh, Carmen and my Carmen's daughter Andrea and my daughter Ireland are best, best, best friends, and uh, Carmen is just a mean. Mexican cook. She just cooks amazing, amazing stuff. Uh, from Mexico, where are you from, Carmen? I'm from Monterrey. It's like actually very close to the border of Texas, like three hours from Texas, a big city. And you're going to take me there one day, right? Of course, we'll go. All right. I know her family has <laughs> make great, great food, so I'm dying to try it. But anyway, recently we had uh, a, a Girl Scouts over to my house, and we made a, a full Mexican feast. and. Carmen was there, and uh, Ireland, and all her Girl Scout buddies, and it was just such a special, special night, and just so much fun. And one of the things that Carmen made were flautas, and the most delicious creamy tomatillo sauce. And uh, I said, Carmen, can you make those on the show? And she's here to show us how to make them. So we made that great shredded pork, mm -hmm. and we're going to make flautas. Yes. Uh -huh. All right, show me how. So we need um, some tortillas. I actually like to warm up the tortillas like a a Ziploc bag, okay. put them in the microwave. So about five or six, these are corn tortillas. Corn tortillas. And I'll uh, put them in for about, what, 30 seconds or so? 30 seconds, 30, 40 seconds on okay. the microwave. You just want them warm, but not too warm so you can work. Yeah, because they them. can be, they can kind of fall apart. We're going to yes. make these rolled crispy flautas. While I'm doing this, will you uh, get everybody started on the tomatillo sauce? Yeah, so we're going to do the tomatillo sauce uh, to go with the flautas. And we need like two avocados. I'm going to drain the can, one 28-ounce can of tomatillos. Yes. Okay. We need to drain it. Okay, because it's got this liquid in. We don't want that. Look at how Carmen, she's like a perfect <laughs> avocado cutter. I'm just going to have you come over to slice my avocados up. Those were <laughs> beautiful avocados. These are really good avocados. I know. they. Sometimes you never know what you're going to get. Should I throw this whole can in here? Yes. So we're going to do this in, in the blender. It's that real creamy, smooth sauce. And it's different from guacamole. We're going to make guacamole, too. Now, these yeah. are nice and warm, and they're going to be easy, a lot easier to work with. That's a great tip. Now, I've got some oil heating up here. Can we take a break from the, uh, the sauce and work on the, um, the flautas for a minute, Carmen? Yes. I'll let you get that last avocado. Just going to get the last avocado. Those are the most perfect avocados I've ever seen. I know. I love them. They are so good. Okay. Not too soft. They're just perfect. OK, so we Oh, this is nice. So okay. we have them warm. OK. We take a little bit of the pork. If it's dry, if your meat is dry, it's even better because you don't want any of the liquid run on the flautas. You don't want to break them. So. So we did shredded beef at my house for when we did the dinner, but shredded chicken, shredded pork. Yes. Whatever. You can decide what you like the best. So a little bit in, kind of down in the middle, or does it yeah. work? Should it Actually, I just put them close to the, close to the edge. edge. OK. And then you just start rolling them. And don't overfill them. I, look, I may have a little bit too much meat in there. So Put like a couple together or three together. OK, real you tight then. Like too thick, yeah. Like a cigar, almost. Perfect, yeah. <laughs> okay, so we've got a toothpick, and we'll do three together. Two together. I usually like to use, like, a couple of toothpicks. See, hers were way better than mine. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, mm -hmm. and into the hot oil. Hot oil, really hot. Okay. So you can put a couple put of them. Put some of them, got some yeah. ready. And then we'll keep working on this one. I'm going to get a paper towel because we want to drain these. Boy, these are cooking quick. I want to keep an eye on them. All right, so we've got in here avocado, tomatillos, tomatillos. two avocados, one 28-ounce can of tomatillos. Garlic, like a three-quarter cup of milk. OK. And Carmen cooks like me. If it needs a little extra, she'll put a little extra <laughs> in. Yeah. yeah I'm looking for some paper towels to drain these uh, tomatillos or the flautas. We flautas? put uh, serrano pepper for a little kick. For a little kick. Now, serrano. If you do are hot peppers. They're so. hot. Okay. Yes. All right. So if you wanted a little milder, maybe a jalapeno? Maybe a jalapeno you can use. Or leave it out altogether? Or leave it out without anything so children also can enjoy it. I like it. Let's throw it in there. <laughs> we'll make another batch for the kids. These don't take long at all. And then we do like a half cup, um, half a cup of oil. Okay. In here and the oil and the milk together, we keep it from getting black. 
Okay. Because you know how avocados can be? Yes, they, they can turn get, right yeah. away. So that's the trick. So the oil uh -huh. and the milk. And then my f favorite ingredient, which is the cilantro. Mm, me too. We'll some cilantro leaves. Just throw them in there. How my to me flowers the, is looking? Oh, that nice color, nice golden color. Do you think Perfect. they're done? Yes. Should I get them out? Yes. And I, I've got a paper towel here because they're a little greasy. Yeah, it's what I do, yeah. These are easy and they're fun to make with the kids to have them all roll them all up. Yeah, they can help. They're so good. Andrea helped me sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. You got to teach them how. I yeah. want you to teach Ireland all these recipes so she can make them <laughs> for me one day. I'll make a couple more. So quite a bit of cilantro in there, but I know you just use, you like to just use the leaves, not the stems. Use the right? leaves, not the stems. The stems, sometimes when you put the stems, it can give it a little bit a stronger flavor. Okay. So now Top I think on. we're ready. Cover it. You tell me where. So you mix it really, really well. Okay. And you can see it, how it's changing, so. So you want a room creamy and thick. You want it creamy and thick. This and stuff if you is so good. <laughs> <laughs> if you think that it's too thick, you can just add more milk. I mean, but it depends great. on how you like it. It's great to drizzle on top of these or serve it on the side, um, you know, along with salsa and guacam uh, guacamole and uh, sour cream. But it's just something a little different. It's so good. I just I went crazy over this sauce. If you like <laughs> guacamole, you're going to love this because the tomatillos in there really make it tomatillos, special. Tomatillos, yes. Yeah, really, really good. Mm -hmm. So our flautas are ready. Do you just take them out of the... Just take the toothpicks off? Yeah, before we serve them. It's a good idea. We don't want anyone <laughs> biting on a toothpick for our fiesta. And then um, sometimes it's fun to serve them on a bed of lettuce and then maybe um, sprinkle a little... Uh, Cheese, so you can put like some cream, sour cream on top of them. Mm. And then the sauce. Yum. Carmen, thank you so much.